Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to add email notifications to your SharePoint list. This will help you stay updated. So without further ado, let's climb straight in. So from our site page, we're going to go up to our gear icon and here we're going to look for site contents. Now, if you want to update a list, say perhaps, let us have a look over here. So we've got, for example, project plan list. What we're going to do is we need to go into these dots over here it'll open up a menu and if you can't find power automate over here you are going into more apps and you will look for power automate now you can sign in to power automate with the same account that you are on sharepoint with from here on the left hand side you're going to click on my flows and essentially you are going to create a workflow let's click on new flow on the top left and we're going to say automated cloud flow all right we're going to build it straight from scratch we're going to give this a name so we can reference it with project plan so let's go ahead so let's say project plan update all right and let's just copy this for future reference and here you can choose a flow trigger now what you want to do is just type in SharePoint so you get all your SharePoint triggers and what you want to do is when a file is created so we're going to have a look for this we do not want to use the when an item or a file is modified because this means if there's any modification on an existing file that's going into that folder then we are going to get an update so what we're going to look for is when an item is created however you can choose from this list what suits your needs best Let's click on create and it'll open up a new window. What we need to do here is we need to make sure that we are creating an item. Okay, so right over here, we've created this item. So we have now, if we click on it, you, on the left hand side, it'll ask you for a site address. You're obviously going to go ahead and look for this site. So everything that you have access to will come up here. You're also going to look for that list name so again you'll see over here you've got your list and we're looking for project plan now it'll pop up here we're going to put it in there and there are a few advanced parameters but we're going to leave it exactly the way it is so let's close this you can see now that we have made all the changes appropriate now we need to add the next step we need to add an action to our trigger so let's hit the plus icon and let's add an action now in the search bar over here we are going to type in email and it'll give us a few options what we're going to look for is office 365 this heading and we're going to look for send an email now this is the option that you're looking for you're not looking for an email notification or any of the gmail accounts here you're looking for this send an email and this will be used within your outlook account so what you can do here is you can enter where this is going so all of the email addresses within your team will come up over here okay so what you want to do is you want to start typing an email address over here and it'll come up as you're typing it so let's use this one over here and you can add additional email addresses if you'd like but i'm setting this up for myself you also want to specify a subject for the mail so we can call this project plan update like we said earlier on the automation that we created was project plan update here you'll also add a body to the email so we can just add something like all right and from here again we've got those advanced parameters we're going to leave this as is you can also change the importance and this will just change how it actually shows in your email account in your inbox once you're done you are going to close this this as is is perfect on the top you'll see a toolbar we're going to look for save and tap on save now once you have saved this this will take a few seconds on the top left it says your flow is ready to go we recommend you test it now you can obviously go ahead and test it you can go into your site contents go into project plan and you can add a new item in over here so once you go in here you can say let's add new item and once it is added you will get that email just like here that we set up you'll get the email updating you on the new item that has been added over here. 